Hi everyone, so today I have a haul for you all, and this one is a little bit of a collective haul actually. A couple of these things I got about a week ago when I was in London and I wasn't meant to be shopping. I had a meeting and I was about an hour early because I always like to be kind of um, early whenever I'm going somewhere where I need to get a train just in case the train gets delayed or something. And then I walked past All Saints window and they had a 75% sale on so I went in and ended up getting some stuff. And then I went past Fan Place which is in Covent Garden which actually um, sells really similar stuff to Never Fully Dressed if you guys know that site. And they had a massive sale on so I ended up getting a load of stuff from them. And then yesterday I went to Lush and I got a load of stuff from Lush. So I thought why not do a big collective haul for you guys because you guys say you like watching them and I love filming them, so why not? So to start off with the stuff from All Saints, and the first thing you guys um, might have actually seen this in a vlog video, because I this is most of the stuff I haven't worn, this is the one thing I have worn. Um, I wore this when I was in Portugal, so that must have been, it was a couple of weeks ago that we went, so um, yeah, this has been kind of sitting here for a while now. Um, and it's so annoying because it's not that like I don't want to wear the stuff yet, it's that I kind of want it to be new when I show you so that I can kind of talk about it like it's new rather than I've worn it. Anyway, this I have worn and it's this really kind of chunky knit grey cardigan and it has this kind of plait rope detail down the sides and down the front and down the back. Um, and I just really like this and I find it quite hard to find knitwear that actually looks nice on, if that makes sense. I find warm stuff um, often isn't that great looking, and I know this has holes in it so it's not going to be that warm, but if you layer it over kind of a long sleeve t-shirt I think it would look really nice and then add a nice belt to it, and I love this, and that was 50% off. And I also got um, this cardigan which I don't know what you guys are going to think of this because it's snake print and normally I'm a little bit wary of anything animal print and I kind of went for this. I tried it on because it was in the sale, it was like £20 I think reduced from 80 or something. Pretty crazy, it was like 75% off and it looks like this. So you can see the back panel and the front panels, it's kind of like a draped cardigan, it's very long. Um, and the front panel and the back panel are snake print but then the sleeves and the sides are this very dark kind of, it's almost like a khaki, it's in between a chocolate brown and a khaki. And yeah, it's not my usual thing, but I think paired with like a very plain outfit, so like black jeggings and maybe like a black, long black t-shirt, I think this would look really nice. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about snake print, because I was a little bit unsure, but then I tried it on and really liked it. And then the final thing I got from All Saints is this belt, which is, it's like a horse bit, or kind of like a double horse bit, because I guess it's got three, um, and then it's got the nude leather. And I absolutely love this, it's seriously, seriously heavy, but I think it will go with a lot of stuff I have, because um, I do have quite a lot of nude um, things. I really like my nude pumps, I think this will look really nice if I had this and then nude shoes. Or I think goes re nude goes really nicely with rose gold too, so I think it will go with a lot of my rose gold stuff. So I love that, and I think that was 50% off. And I also got a lot of gifts when I was there. Um, some guys gifts, just t-shirts, but then I'll show you guys this one thing I got for my friend for her birthday. I got this wallet which was reduced from, I think it was reduced from £75 to £28, but it's textured leather and it's really kind of unusual. It's like laser cut leather um, in this beautiful kind of bright coral colour and it's really nice. It's all leather inside and I just thought this was a really nice wallet, a nice present for her birthday. So I got a few other things in there that are kind of gifts which are not very exciting because they're boys, which I won't be. And then I went to Fan Place, which if you guys haven't heard me talk about this before, if you haven't seen my outfit of the day where I wore um, a dark red shirt, that is where this is from and I got so many questions about that and also um, an outfit of the day I did on Ingrid's channel where I was wearing an indigo blue shirt. It's exactly the same shirt but just a different colour. Um, the place that I got it from is Fan Place, and to cut a long story short, they have the same supplier as Never Fully Dressed, which you guys will either know or won't know, I'll put a link in the information bar below. They don't have a website, but they do have a shop, so if you're in Covent Garden, it's on Long Acre, you can Google it, I think it might be 11, number 11, but don't quote me on that, um, I think if you Google it, it's probably better if you're going to go, but they are basically about half the price. Um, that never fully dressed 
sell them for. I love the style of never fully dressed clothes and these guys sell them for half the price and they had a 50% sale on. So pretty much everything in the shop was like £14. So I ended up getting some of the stuff I'd actually ordered from Never Fully Dressed in the past um, but sent it back because I didn't think the quality was worth paying £60 for but when you're paying £14 for it um, it's definitely worth it because I love the style. So to start off with, I got this, it's the inside out, so I'm just going to show you guys. I got this little, it's kind of like a slip, it could act as a top or a dress, but it's this bright kind of coral orange colour, and it goes out and kind of frills at the bottom. This is more to wear um, in the summer, I think, but I do really, really like that because it's sleeveless, it's a little bit lighter, but definitely all of this stuff you can like layer up and it looks amazing. And then secondly, I got this little cardigan type thing, which is not going to show up very well on camera. I'm definitely be wearing some of these in outfit of the days um, over the next few weeks I would have thought but it's this sheer nude um, these are really crinkled because they've been in the bag I'm gonna have to hang them up it's a sheer nude um, kind of like a shrug rather than a cardigan because it doesn't do up but it has kind of pointed um, bits at the front you guys really can't see this let me see if I can that's a bit better it has the kind of pointed um, drapes at the front and then on the sleeves it has these huge um, bows that you can tie and I just think these are so pretty and girly and just really feminine so the sleeves look like that and you have kind of big bows on your sleeves and I thought that was really pretty like I said all of this stuff was £14 I think and then I also got the same um, cardigan in black because I wear a lot of black and I think this would be really useful Thing to get in black. Everything's pretty sheer. And then the last thing I got was the same shirt that I've got in red and indigo, but I got it in this kind of beige colour. Um, as you can see, it's so creased. I'm going to try and do the belt up so that it looks a little bit better. The belts they come with are like just material belts, they're not very nice, but if you take them off and put kind of nice leather belts on, or like a nice chain belt, they look so, so nice. So let me just tie this up for you guys. So that will give you a better representation. It's just a kind of drapey sheer shirt in noon. I think this I'll get a lot of use out of this because I know the other two colours that I've got, I've used a lot and I love them. I also bought my sister a, um, a plain sheer nude shirt, nude, navy shirt, um, which I really wanted to get her the long, because the ones with these, you can actually wear these um, as a dress, the ones that I have three of like this one. Because this is double layered, the sleeves are sheer, but the body is actually, um, it's a tiny bit sheer, but if you wear the right underwear under it, it's fine to wear as a dress with um, leggings. But they didn't have navy in that, so I just got her the shirt and she really liked it. So um, yeah, that's definitely becoming one of my favorite shops. They have a lot of good stuff in there. And then the stuff that I got from Lush, I actually got quite a lot of stuff. And I know back, the last time I did a Lush haul, I, I admitted to you guys that I had never really, really loved Lush before. Like, it had always been a kind of Christmas-only thing for me. Um, I love Christmas scents, and for some reason, I'm, like, slipping down a little bit. For some reason, at Christmas, I love Lush because of all the cinnamon scents, and it smells delicious. And then, when it's not Christmas, I can never really find anything I like. So, I took a lot of your guys' recommendations and went back, and I tried a lot of the new bath bombs and bubble bars. I didn't really go into, like, shampoos and all that kind of stuff, because I'm more into, like, my baths, especially in the winter. I have a bath, like, at least three times a week. So, um, and I didn't need any soap, so I didn't get any more soap. But I got a lot of bath bombs and bubble bars, so I'll show you all what I got. The first thing, um, I think these must be new because I've never seen them before, but I got the green bubble rune, which are basically like um, a bubble bar that looks like a macaroon. And I mean, I love macaroons, so this got me quite excited about it. It's like a big fat macaroon. And they said this smells of grass. To me, it smells like, kind of like, I don't know if it's like lemongrassy, very fresh, very citrus. It says on the label... I'll crumble under a tap, creates bubbles, it doesn't say what's in it. But this smells really, really fresh and nice, and I think this would be great for spring, it's really lovely. So I'm excited to try that. And then I also got the pink bubble rune, which is called the Rose Jam Bubble Rune. And I love rose macaroons, so I got very excited again about this one. This one's a kind of different shape, it looks more like a macaroon. And this smells like rose. And a few other florals in there, which I am rubbish at detecting what florals they are, but... That smells really good and I'm really excited to try those. Let me know if you guys know if they're new or not. I have no idea if they're new. I also got um, a Phoenix Rising, which this is the one um, 
bath bomb that I actually knew that I liked already. So I got one of these because I love these and they turn the water like bright pinky purple and it goes all green and it looks cool. And these smell kind of spicy. Like they're the closest to a Christmas scent you get when it's not Christmas. So I got that. And then I also got Butterball which says Ylang Ylang and Vanilla for buttery soft skin. Packed with cocoa butter to melt all over your hot body. It sounds a bit dodgy. Um, yeah, so this is basically a cocoa butter bath bomb, which I also haven't seen. There was loads of stuff in there. This smells so good. I love the smell of cocoa butter. If you like cocoa butter, you'll like that. The Butterball. And then, I don't know what this one is, the Sex Bomb, which I think is a Valentine's Day one. That's another thing. They also had lots of new stuff for Valentine's Day, so I was kind of sniffing all of that. And I bought the Sex Bomb because I actually love the way it looks, like, with the rose on top. I just think it's so pretty. The smell is nice. Um, to me, it smells actually really soapy. It doesn't, it's not what I would say is, like, traditionally sexy scent. Maybe it is, and I just don't find that smell kind of a sexy scent, but that's nice anyway and I think it smells kind of fresh and then I got the frog prints which I saw last year and I never bought one and I was kind of upset that I never bought one because these are really cute and they look like that so they're a frog and they actually have the red is like buttery and rubs off because I picked one up and I got red it's red lipstick on me and I was like oh but these smell really nice these actually smell a lot more kind of classically perfumey rather than kind of foody or soapy they smell kind of perfumed and then I got two more. This one I'm really excited about, actually. I got Honeybee, which um, presumably is just honey, actually. It says it has soothing aloe and rasul, which I've never heard of, but um, it sounds good. I love the look of this one, actually, because it's kind of like a bumblebee, like yellow. And it smells really good. I think I'm totally converted to Lush after uh, <laughs> going back. After Christmas, it's kind of like eased me into it gently and now I really like it. And then the last one I got is Space Girl, which I'm pretty sure has been around for a while. It's shaped like a UFO um, and it has loads of glitter, which I'm kind of skeptical about. And it kind of smells like a Palmer Violet. I don't really know why I picked this one because I this is the one that I'm like l a bit skeptical about trying. I think it was um, the fact that the shape, I just like the shape, so I picked that one. And that's it from Lush. I've got so many bath bombs to try, but I will let you guys know. I'll definitely let you know which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't already checked out my Valentine's Day tutorials, then go and check them out. If you want to know how I got my hair, I always get questions when I do anything with my hair, how I did it. This is basically... Um, exactly the same as my Valentine's Day tutorial but then I just picked up a little bit and tied it at the back of my head so if you want to see how I did my hair then definitely check out my Valentine's hair tutorial so until next time guys I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you then bye